Boulevard. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of the Woodsman Whack Off, the series that puts two woodsmen face to face to see which competitor can whack off their log the fastest. In today's episode, we are pitting a classic against a less ordinary saw. Our classic is the Steel 038 Magnum. The chassis was introduced in 1980 as a 61cc saw, and over the years it was updated again and again to help keep it relevant and ultimately it was stretched out to the 72cc Magnum design featured in this here whack off. It's a bit portly, but uh, overall it produces good torque and is an enjoyable saw to use. Our more modern competitor is the Makita 7900. This saw is actually a German built Dolmar chainsaw. Makita bought out Dolmar way back in 1991. And over the decades, Dolmar has produced their power equipment in both branding options, leading to a nickname that they are often referred to as Dolkita, with an obvious reference to both brands. This 7900 model is a 78.5 cc power saw and is regarded as a very nice, high performance machine. Does the 40 year old steel design stand a chance? Let's find out. Here we go. Look at that. We got Soft Hand Steve on the Makita. Look at him waving high to his mom. And ooh, Benford slicks the hair back and fires up the steel 038 Magnum. Both Sawyers are getting ready, revving up their machines. And here we go with the gentle glide down the shaft. All right, both saws are pretty well neck and neck. But it looks like the Makita is stretching out a little bit. Yep. It takes the uh, first slice out. Now here we are with the tug up. And now that we're getting a chance to get into the torque, the Makita clearly pulls out a strong lead. All right, and then lastly, for the vice grip where they are choking up on those saws, really, really digging them into the wood as hard as they can. And of course, we see the Makita with its almost 79 full cc's handle this business and take care of the steel put it away <laughs> oh soft hand Steve he oh with all of his good nature he still gets flipped off by Benford <laughs> anyways let's see what Bodie has to say about it guys ha <laughs> so um, glad to be back home doing my normal routine and stuff oh <sighs> so the uh, the Makita the Makita, which is actually a Dolmar, um, they call it a Bavarian saw. I'm not, um, you know, I haven't really looked into it much. I am pretty sure that it's East German. It's, uh, Dolmar is an East German company, which would lead one to believe that it was, um, uh, I mean, the company was at one point under a communist rule with the USSR, I guess. Um, but uh, I don't really know a whole lot about that or anything like that. But I do know that steel is in Stuttgart, and that's a West German design. So um, West German was uh, allied forces, and East German belonged to Russia for a while. Whatever. Uh, but they're both, you know, steel and Dolmar, very good saws. For whatever reason, um, Dolmar really never took off in the United States. Um, who knows why? I don't. Not this guy. But uh, they've always made fantastic saws, just like steel has. And um, uh, But it's a potato-potato type of thing. And um, I guess here in America, we chose potato. And the steel chainsaws definitely sell a lot more always have than the Dolmar um but so I was just trying to figure out what should I match up and I wanted to do something different you know I, I'm mostly a husky husky type of guy actually I, I guess you would call me an Electrolux guy honestly because all the brands that I really enjoy are Electrolux <laughs> Husqvarna, Yonsered, and Poulon so all three of those are owned by Electrolux 
And honestly, the ones that weren't owned by Electrolux, like the older Polands, eh, whatever, you know. But once they got bought out by Electrolux, that's my brand. <laughs> I like those. Same thing with the Husqvarna's, honestly. Um, now, the Yonsereds, though, they're, they're the anomaly on that one. They were good in the 70s. I mean, they, they all were, but I'm talking about my own personal preference. I liked them in the 70s as well. Um, the Husqvarna's, I didn't care for until the 80s. They started coming out with the uh, the two chassis, I guess you would call it. You know, like the 268, the 61, the 55, 51, 50, all of those. So that right there, whenever Husqvarna started coming out with those, basically that's whenever I started liking Husqvarna, um, whenever those were available. Uh, steel. Um, definitely they turned the corner whenever they got away from their, I think, you know, I mean, this is, again, we're speaking about my personal preferences. Steel made their chainsaws a very specific way whenever we're talking about the 045, the 031 and 32, I think, um, the 046, the 056, all of those saws, they, I don't think they were an actual lay down horizontal uh cylinder but they could have been um i think they were just really 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 canted back but i don't know i don't know enough about them i've only owned one of that series of chainsaws and, and i was not impressed with it. it i owned a 045 i think which is like i don't know like 78 cc's or something uh and it was it was strong it, it was it was strong but it it was a big fat pig it was big and heavy and so of course i didn't like it um but the makita i i know they make good saws but the only one that i've ever used i think ever i think is this makita um 7900 the only dolmar i've ever used um and it runs really good. In watching the video, and, and in the moment, I, I can remember thinking it was probably a little bit rich, and that sucks. Um, that sucks to have that in my head. I, 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 I could be wrong about it. However, even if I am wrong, it's still in my head. And so I had this feeling that the saw didn't perform as highly as it could have. Uh, so anyways, I really like it. It's a really good feeling saw. It's a really nice smooth saw and it's quite powerful. Um, but I figured I wanted something to put it up against and this uh, 038 would be a good competitor, you know, an old German versus a young German. <laughs> so um, it's a little bit, you know, of course it's skewed. Uh, of course the 038 probably was never going to have a chance but i gotta say in running that 038 that is a nice saw it really really runs excellent and uh, it's got great torque doesn't have a lot of rpms you know but fantastic torque you could really lean on that thing hard and it, it was it was nice really liked that saw so at to date i mean with i've ran a lot of steel chainsaws and um, three of them have impressed me. Uh, number one, obviously, that 500i. That thing's the smoothest chainsaw I've ever ran. It's a, it's a really fantastic saw. Um, but I always, like I had an 028 Super, and I'd had several steels up until that point. Uh, and that was the first steel that I had that I got it, and I got it running right, and I said, damn, I'm going to hold on to this thing for a while. And I really, really liked it. It was really enjoyable. So that's the 028 Super, and this one's the 038 Magnum. And basically, they're the same saw. Just one is like 20 cc's bigger, you know. Uh, so this uh, 038, same thing. I liked it the same way I liked the 028. And um, it's just a no frills, 
good torque, sink it in the wood, and let it tractor. You know, and it was really fun to use. Really liked it a lot. But anyways, uh, so that's it for this video. Um, it's going to be a little bit short this time because I've got other things I've got to jump on real quick. After getting back from uh, Germany, I was already, it was a long vacation. You know, it was like 17 days that we were gone. And then on top of that, I had to stay an extra, I don't know, like nine days or something. No, nah, not that long. I had to stay an extra week. And that means whenever I got home, it was, um, it's a mess. Uh, I've got a lot of mowing on the tractor to do and other things. Uh, so, but uh, I've been trying to push out the videos and stuff and it's working out. However, I'm busy and I got to go. So, catch you on the next one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments if, you know, I've got... Okay, so you... If you don't know what I have already tested, go back, look at my channel, and find the uh, playlist for the Woodsman Whack-Off. And you can see all the Woodsman Whack-Offs. And every one of those saws, I have the ability to go back and pit against something else. Now, the new saws that I have that you don't know about yet is 375 XPW, 395 XP, uh, 660, uh, MS 660. Uh, that's about all I can think of off the top of my head. And of course, I've got the 592, the 500i. I've got this Makita. Let me know make suggestions. I mean, I, I, I won't follow everything, you know, of course, you know, I have my own thoughts, but, but I want to hear your suggestions of what you would like to see. Like I've got that old Poland 245. You want to see it go up against the 500i? I mean, eventually it's bound to happen whenever I don't have anything good to pull from, <laughs> but you know, who wants to see that? But maybe you guys are going to be like, oh, I want to see it. Anyways, let me know, put it in the comments. See ya.